Welcome back to the 10-year anniversary of the Year of Luigi. Year of the Luigi is every year in my eyes. And for a while I thought it was during the Wii U era. I say. Not realizing what a big... Yeah, like all the 2010s, it was all just one year of Luigi. Everything is Luigi. All things will become Luigi in the end. Chuck and Rock Hills. Okay, Chuck Rock. You know what to do. So yeah, World 2 is, uh, green stuff. On a mountain, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Interesting, uh, color tone choices. I just missed out on the invincibility gag that happens at the start of these videos, usually. So, uh, lower your expectations. We've brought back these green block things, which disappear after jumping off of them. Feel free to ask me about any mechanic you may have missed in a Mario World mod, because I, I don't keep track of all of them. <laughs> Especially when there's very different things being used that come back in others, and I... It means I can't figure out who, like, started some of these mechanics. They're just used by many creators and many things, as mods should be. So, yeah. If I could have some criticisms, is that there's sometimes some bug that kind of just screws me over a few times. Maybe not all the times. But if that's what it was... Well, then you got the best of Super Mario 3D Land. And if you don't like Super Mario 3D Land, well, you can just suck it now. Actually, you know what? Super Mario 3D Land is kind of eh. In terms of level design. I mean, it did have not just eight worlds, but eight special worlds. But the eight special worlds tended to be, like, reuse levels with different assets. And... I don't know. Yeah. At least it wasn't as stale as, say, New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. Not that there's anything wrong with playing more Mario. I'm just saying, in comparison, it's going to feel like, you know, same old, same old. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't know if that's fine for everyone that plays Mario. You know, they want something slightly different. Oh, yeah. Um, I was playing F-099. I stopped. I, I know the Queen League track... Queen League tracks are out. I, I, I'm trying to discourage people from talking about it because a lot of it is what's called fear of missing out or FOMO, which is basically any time a game has features that require you to be around at certain times. And I'm done with that. I just wanted to try the F-099 for a little bit for a week, and I did. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to prove... I'm not addicted. To I I know I could probably kick your ass at it some more, but I, I realized what that was turning into. It was turning into like it's turning like what happens when I play an MO. It just becomes another job, and I'm like, no, please no, please please no world of gaming wolfcrafts. We can't do that around here. Oh man, it just, it just occurred to me. Are there people that LP MMOs? Oh my god, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to witness. That that's um that's truly terrible. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna be that guy, but I don't think I could watch someone play an MMO. I just can't. <laughs> now if I need like tips or something, yeah, but I don't know. It eh, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't get me. So anyway, when I'm gonna play Wonder when that comes out, and that's gonna have kind of a not quite online co-op. I don't know why Nintendo just doesn't want to do the online co-op yet, still, for Mario. I keep wondering about this. Do they, do they think I have people that can just come over and play Wonder for, like... Like, even if I have people coming over to my house to play games with me, like, for a few hours. Do you think that's going to be enough for them to go through an entire... entire game for, like, a week and spend eight hours a day on that? Because that's not going to happen. They can't be as thorough as I am, even though they're probably good at it. They just don't have the time, or they have other dreams and ambitions in life. You know, I can't take that away from them. What I'm saying is, co oping means I have to find people on my wavelength, and that's uh, very much a rarity, <laughs> especially for me. That's why I do a lot of solo acts. I just feel like I get more done. I know it seemed like I didn't get more done. But trust you and me. I'm all back. 
just in time for 2024, which is also going to be a good year. At least since I saw some of the things that are going to be released in 2024, a few things. Uh, what was it? The, the Proteus DLC? I say DLC, but it's more like expansion pack. I don't know, man. I know everyone's like, yeah, Nintendo, but my favorite video game company is Apogee slash 3D Realms. Because I don't know if they're two different companies or not. It seems like they're the same company, and then sometimes they just post as those other names, which are held by one holding. This is Punch-Out music. What's that doing here? This music is way too good for this game, and I don't get to hear it often enough. Uh, game Wolf plays Punch-Out when? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I don't know how good at that I am. That'd be a really good... That'd be a really fun LP, though. Especially if I get Punch-Out Wii recorded properly. You know I'd get on that if I was gonna go that route. Hell, I found a few Punch-Out clones on Steam I decided to wishlist just because I wanted to try them. And no, you don't have to get me anything off a of Steam wishlist. You could... Oh, uh, but but don't uh, don't Epic Games launcher me and don't uh, Ubisoft me. You could get something from GOG. That's allowed. Yeah, GOG is allowed. GOG is very allowed. Uh, you get something from Humble Bundle, which I mean turns out being Steam keys or something anyway. You could also get something from H.io. That's gonna be a harder thing to determine whether you want to run it by me though. Especially if the project's not done yet and you want to pay for it. it's like, nah, man, just wait. Yeah, here's a pro tip. If you get anything off of my Steam wishlist, please don't buy me an early access title. I know I've wishlisted it, but that's so I can remember later when it comes out of early access, because I know it's probably going to be good. I don't do that with every early access title, by the way. So here's more Mario Maker music. This one is the Super Mario Bros. Air theme from Super Mario Maker 2. It's, But... As you'll notice, the sound font makes it sound like it's playing out of Super Mario All-Stars, which is especially good. I love it. This is probably my favorite consistent... This is... This is my favorite song that appears the most in this game, I think. Because it tends to happen in an athletic sky level, so... You're gonna get it a lot. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Beep, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think someone asked me why... If I would do like uh, Mario Maker Super Worlds, and uh, truth be told, the answer is no. But it's not as if you're bad at making games. That's not the problem. The problem is where you're gonna keep that stuff when Nintendo inevitably has to take it down. Because that happened with Mario Maker One. Who's to say it won't happen with any of Nintendo's things? Really? Yeah, the Wii U shop, Wii U shop gone. 3DS shop gone. Actually, is the Wii U shop gone? I know the Wii shop's gone. Shops are... E-shops are gone! It's just all about them services, or them subscriptions, or them Game Pass. Yeah, if there's a Game Pass, don't bother with that. I will smack you so hard into the next dimension. <laughs> into the next dimension? It's called dying, Vegeta. No, it's the next dimension! It'll be fine. No, I'm pretty sure that's dying. Nah. What is this art? I know not of these things. Do 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 do. We see a lot of stuff. This Luigi wants to be me. He is not a fan of my crap. Holy shit! This is the best. The best Yoshi is here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Some good shit, my friends. And the Yoshi has been lost. Please write in the comments if you think of a terrible person who drops off Yoshi's for the fun of it, because I do. No, man, I try not to take it personally. <laughs> I swear, back in the day, people get really pissed when I dropped off the Yoshi in the pits. Like, how dare you mistreat Yoshi this way? I'm like, I don't need him. Don't be a fool. Be cool. So anyway, yeah, the Super Mario Wonder online stuff. Um, the co-op is more like how one plays Dark Souls in that you're just kind of assisting while spectating, sort of. 
I don't know if I want to do that my first playthrough, though. I mean, I could, but, like, uh, I don't know. I don't want that to take away from my experience of kicking the game's literal fucking asshole. All right? I don't... I don't know if I've ever needed help playing a Mario game unless it was Kaizo, all right? There has been a rare few times where a Mario game has been very hard without being Kaizo, and someday I'm going to get over that. Basically, if you're on SuperMarioWorldCentral.net and you see something marked very hard, that's like my ambition is to try to clear ones that are marked very hard. And most of that falls in the category of just it being obnoxious, but not, like, stupid hard. Luigi's Adventure falls in that category, so, yeah. I, I forgot what that Japanese person's name was. But I know that they've made Luigi's Adventure series, and I remember that being super fucking hard, and one day I want to conquer it, so, yeah. A for me, maybe? Who knows shit? Yoshi's here. This Yoshi rules. Oh yeah, if you're Mario Rom Hacks in Japanese, that's not gonna stop me, okay? It shouldn't. Unless you have note blocks with a lot of text in them, then I have to kind of guess what the hell you're talking about. But that... <laughs> I mean, I got lunar magic and shit to look at these things, so I don't know what the hell I'd be missing in the first place. Especially don't need it for Mario Kart and F-Zero. Oh, by the way, I want to do F-Zero X. Um, yeah, all F-Zero 99 proved was that I should be doing more F-Zero ROM hacks. <laughs> People are like, please play more F-099. I'm like, please stop talking about it. Please. I feel bad enough about Super Mario 35. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Seriously, I did play Super Mario 35 for like three weeks or something like that. Um, It, it was time to stop. <laughs> once I got star rank or some, Was I near star rank? But once you get the star rank, it's like, it's time to stop. Oh, sure, you could progress levels like everyone else, but then it's just like, well, then what? I'm just collecting. Collecting the stuff. Who wants to go in Spiny's Groove to my friend's house? Oh, boy, it's Maple Treeway. Oh, yeah, that's right. I couldn't do Mario Kart Wii for you also. And there's so many Mario Kart Wii mods I could show off, too. I'm so upset. But yeah, as long as you have some custom, like, title screen or box art or something that I can use to distinguish your game from another via the thumbnail, then you're okay. But if you're just a piece of crap, well, I don't know what to tell you. I've seen level packs that have no, like, history associated with them. They just got released one day in 2006. It's just like, but there's no one's played this, and it's just a whole level pack, and I've got no title screen or unique title screen and no cover art. What do I do? So, you know, if I'm not playing everything, that might be one of those reasons. Oh, yeah, the next uh, Doom thing I'm going to do is probably going to be Memento Mori. I could do H2 Xmas. I, um... I'm going to turn you down on H2 Xmas. It's kind of... I mean, I realize it's playable, but it's kind of shoddy for me, and while I still have a lot of other good Doom mods, which I think start being good with Memento Mori, not that Alien Vanguard wasn't good, that was plenty good, but I think Memento Mori is the start of the good ones, or like uh, Hell Revealed, or Scythe, or something. Anyway, there's plenty of good ones that I don't have to worry about ones that are questionable like that one. Because I, I realize what it is. It, it, H2H stands for head-to-head, -head, so originally it was like guys who were making head-to-head -head maps, as in deathmatch maps, and then they just made it in like a Christmas style. But all the monsters attack you the moment you start shooting. So they're not in all in the hidey holes, and it just makes me feel like there's a... There's a lack of polish. It's not enough to make it the worst thing in the world. It's not enough to make it mid. But I just don't feel comfortable playing something that feels like... Aside from... I don't know. That doesn't apply to all compilations. Whatever, I'll, I'll... Yeah. I've also decided that... You know, just because it'll be December... It doesn't mean I'm gonna play a Christmas game. I apply it to the spooky game... I apply it to October-based games, too. But to be fair, I was gonna play Dusk either way. So, <laughs> Dusk will happen. 
I mean, I played Blood when it was in October, and no one had a problem with that. By the way, I just heard that they someone there was an on the Realms Deep thing they decided to show off the uh, Blood expansion or someone's custom Blood episode Marrow, and then that that's in my backlog now. There's already plenty of other Blood custom episodes I can try, but that's good that that's there. Best of all, I believe I can play Marrow and DOS, so that's also good. Yeah. Also, really need to do Shadow Warrior. And I think that's gonna be the next first person, sh person shooter I work on after dusk, if you don't mind. Although, I should do Christmas Duke Nukem 3D. Mmm. I don't really want to. I'm not fond of that expansion. It's kinda crap. <laughs> it's still very playable, like h 2 Xmas, but yeah. I think that's what's happening. I think the Christmas mods are kind of like an excuse to not put too much effort in, as long as it looks Christmassy. I don't know. Maybe I just deny Christmas its appeal by being a bah humbug sort of person. <laughs> Only Scrooges are allowed here. Okay, for some for some reason, Mario has lent the wing cap to Luigi through a message box. And I don't know how he did it. Like, teleporting delivery service? What the fuck, dude? Did he... <laughs> Did Mario order up DoorDash? Is like, hey, give this guy his hat. Give him my wing hat. That was me messing up. <laughs> but yeah, the Monty Moles are flying. Yeah, it seems that after Mario Maker, all the level designers were like, oh yeah, we could just put wings on things to make them fly. How original are we? Okay. No, seriously, I'm just, I'm just tired of Mario Maker references. <laughs> I didn't mind it when we kept using 3D World references, or, like, Mario Kart references, so... I'm looking forward to a bunch of Mario Wonder references. However, that means I'm gonna have to avoid the new Mario ROM hacks for a while. Until I beat Mario Wonder, 100%. I don't know what 100%ing Mario Wonder means, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun finding out. And since I'm really good at it, uh... I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do whatever... I'm gonna do whatever it means to 100% Mario Wonder. I will do it without looking it up. I'm gonna do it without looking up hints or guides. I shouldn't need to. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try really hard not to. Okay. So, um, basically, no YouTube videos regarding Mario Wonder. I, I refuse to watch someone else play it now. I already know it's gonna be good. I don't need. I, I think I would pre-order it if I was going to, but. The only downside of that is it costing more to pre-order sometimes. Maybe it doesn't right now, but who cares? I care about you! Yeah. Uh, you know what would go good with my wing cap? A fucking cape so I can fly... My flying power is stacked, dude. But yeah. At least in these wing cap levels, I don't have to worry about taking pipes, so the coins are always in sight. Yeah. Falling is kind of risky, but that's only if you don't understand the physics of using this in the first place. That's pretty much why I died. I still hadn't gotten used to the wing cap physics yet. Yeah, and then I immediately remembered, so... Y yay for this guy? I sure do get hit a lot, don't I? Very good. Also, shout out, I, th I think Bandicoot also came up with the cover art for this thing. If he did it for the third one and, what was it, uh, Crown Tail, which is about Bowsette. If he did it for those, I will also play those. I wonder if I should just go through all his things for Mario World and then start on something else. It's starting to lean that way. And I really don't mind. I want to go back to Gamma V's work, I suppose. And I also want to try the... I want to do the another Mario World stuff again. There's a lot of things we can do here. Yoshi's got an island and it involves a cave. Like, schematic. Yes, it does. And if you don't think so, then you are lying. If you are lying, I will remember to kick your ass. Holy shit. I will kick your ass. He's Luigi, he kicks butt. 
Oh, look at that. An obvious secret. Wow, I never would have suspected. Damn. The other thing for spoiling Mario Wonder is that I kind of want to see what all the Wonder Seed things do before you show them. Alright? So stop your crap. Yeah, just let me do Mario Wonder Solo. Let me do Mario Wonder Solo, and then I'll go help anyone who hasn't played it before. What if I just do that? I feel like that would be better. <laughs> not about to... not about to let you ruin my experience. Actually, what are the benefits of the help out? Like, there's like a score system for helping people, but I don't know what it's used for. That I'm gonna have to wonder about. Hence the name! Uh, can we do this one more time? Except we take the normal exit. Okay. Luigi number one. It's Luigi time. I am Luigi now. It's my time. Luigi time. Luigi's time is nigh. Many Luigi's. Yeah. This is also not the first ROM hack to be about the Tanga. I played another one, it was Super Mario Land 3, Tanga's Revenge. I believe, though, it was either that one or another one where, um, for some reason, the boss included. It was a large product plant, right? However, there was some kind of RNG that determined where it spawned, and if it spawned a certain, like, edge, uh, it just, like, fell off, and I, I got soft-locked, basically, by the game, and I, I don't like when that stuff happens. All right. A, a glitch can rob me of an entire experience. Yeah, and they'll the entire experience. When I got to the last world of this game, for some reason, the difficulty curve in ROM hacks tends to spike at World 8. It, it doesn't seem balanced. I, I think people realize they're making the end of the game, they're like, all right, make it stupid hard. They made it this far without considering that, you know, maybe you should just make the curve like you were doing and not even think about it being the final thing you're working on. That's kind of why some people work on their last parts first, so they don't have that problem. <laughs> I mean, just look at the story of Doom. He did not make the first level first. He made it later after he's familiar with how the level design worked. That's pretty smart. Wait, why'd I have to come back? Oh man. Well, at least I have checkpoints. Like, oh, now you want to spawn sporadically. Ah, yes. That's what was happening in this game. Okay, things are like despawning in this mod. I need. That's a glitch that needs to go away. In fact, I've experienced the despawning glitch many times. Basically, there's a point where there's too many sprites on the screen that some other elements of the level start disappearing. And that's happened to me before in Super Mario World, uh, what was it? No, Super Demo World The Legend Continues or something? Or Super Mario Demo Legend? remember returns and like the platforms and that would despawn I would not be able to continue to level and it was not a good time actually that whole that whole game's kind of a nightmare of level design because it's, it's hard but it's not Kaizo it's just stupid to play and I hate myself for ever even attempting in the first place although that was back in the time where I didn't care about save states so I used them anyway and I I feel like I feel like man's use of save states has had crippled their ability to level design, and luckily we have thought about that now. However, I don't want to turn into an argument as to whether you should use save states or not, okay? I do want to make it an argument into making good level design, though. And if you, basically, if you know you're going to need save states, you should build around that. And if you know you don't want to, build around that. Don't try to half-ass it by making some levels Kai, so, and some levels not. <laughs> They'll come find you and kill you if you do that. Please don't do that. Yeah, I, I think I've played exactly one mod where one level was explicitly Kaizo and it was the very last one in the special world or something. Too bad I don't remember it hard enough to tell you which one it was. Is there a thunderstorm? Uh, let's find out. I guess I can tell you next video. I'll let you know. Or I won't let you know. Either that, or one of my cats fell over. Yeah, I think one of them fell over. I'll go check it out. <laughs> Monty Bone Mayhem.
anyway, next time we will finish up World 2. Hope to see you soon.